Hey folks, welcome back to Stranded Alien Dawn. We are year two, day five, so we're halfway through spring, our second spring. Got a Pankoth over here checking things out. <laughs> I decided to put gates into all four center points instead of just the two. I think it was last time or the time before we had them all coming in right here while we were still trying to get into the structure so we had to kind of run through them a bit or run around the other side I thought it'd be so much easier if I just had a gate right there so we're gonna change that up a little bit still have a little bit of meat rotting on the ground over here but oh and some over here too and yeah it's not gonna be there much longer oh well uh, fuel everything is cooking so we've got seven times 20 so 140 more somethings gallons or containers or what have you of fuel um anybody getting up yet edmund's missing where is he ah he he's gonna go work on those okay i opened up the next section of the house to work on threw a couple of batteries in there to fill up and we'll see how it goes. Kana is going to be working on clothes for quite some time. We're kind of getting right to the end of uh, of our of our clothing for some of them, uh, especially the the original characters. Uh, Carter's pretty much cleaned himself up. Paulette's got pants that are going to be going soon. Rita, who is gone on an expedition is still looking pretty good uh simon looks like he's changed up about everything now edmund's about to go through a pair of pants and a shirt and a jacket which i could be taking off of them i did that already with some of them i think um why don't you take off your coat let's see that's simon and he is playing a didgeridoo Hmm. If I do this now, it'll interrupt him, won't it? I think so. Paulette is going to put some berries in here and... Oh, really? <laughs> I assigned her to make wine so we can use up the old berries. She's going here to get berries. Yeah. Is there any way to... not do that? Draft? Can you come right over here? And then can I assign you to do that? And will you grab from the closest one? Or will you run out there because you're programmed to take them off the ground first since they're not already stored or something like that? Undraft and please make some wine. There you go. Thank you. <laughs> okay, Simon. You're getting slop, but I want you to take off your coat. It's going to be going no don't do it that way right there we're going into the hot season soon and let's not wear out any coats that have still got some decent life left to them which i'd say this is one of them so paulette it just figured out how to handle the fermentation barrel no i'm not going to bother you carter doesn't have one anyway these are just about worn out so there's no point in in saving them on a shelf okay so and rita We'll do you when you get back. But Paulette, as soon as you're done filling this wine up. And that was about to rot away. Can you tell me where they are? You're just kind of sitting there rotting away, huh? Okay, I'll let you rot away. Paulette, you, coat. Uh, I clicked the wrong button. There we go. You go and unequip your coat and put that away. Thank you. Simon is taking a walk. We must be at 7 o'clock. Okay. So, beyond that, I did ask somebody to... I didn't. Can you handle the generator? We're going to put that on circuit 1. And you are now... Simon... Idling. You don't know what else to do. Well, in that case, can you handle the fridges and switch them over to that was a weird pathway to uh oh because the door isn't real yet maybe <laughs> to circuit one and this guy is 
going to be on active circuit one. Okay. So theoretically, that didn't work. This should turn on when the battery gets to 50%, according to this. Be curious to see if it actually works. Carter is constructing floors. I need somebody to go out and do a lot of cutting. Edmund. Actually, Edmund and Carter. I could do that. Um, your happiness is going to be great once it catches up. And Carter, you're not in as good a shape, but you're pretty good. So, let's see. Carter, why don't you take out three trees here and take out no don't observe ah, I hate when that happens there's no way to get rid of one of the three more so let's draft undraft try it again why don't you Carter wait for it there we go cut three and where's another cut okay we'll go over here and cut three Edmund you are eating once you're Oh, you haven't finished your eating. Once you're finished with eating, over here and cut. And cut five. Thank you. And grabbing there. Nope. Oh, it's so hard. This bounces all over the place. Cut another one. And I'm sure there's... I'll cut things on the ground. There we go. Cut five fallen logs. And Carter, we'll throw that into your queue too. Cut two? That's all you're going to do, huh? That's all you're going to do. I think there's more in there, but it's hard to trigger them. No, nope, actually none in there at the moment. Okay, I like it's you guys all doing something. Um, Simon, I want you making slop out of the rest of the rotting berries. Um, Connor, you need to be making clothes. So you're tailoring. Good. Simon is making slop. Good. Umayar is researching, which is... The remainder of the sleep training. I should finish this episode if I quit bugging him. And I think that's going to cut our sleep time down considerably. Be curious to see what it actually does. Otherwise, some kind of armor might be good. Um, this looks like the easiest one to make just to get something on us. And find out what the research desk does and then get our heat pump going, hopefully before summer. Is there time for that? Summer is almost here. Mm. Okay. Cancel, cancel. Put you back, put you back. Okay. Is there something else to add? Orbital radio we're going to pass on for quite some time. Uh, four days to do chemical cloth synthesis, which allows us to do the synthetic armor. Pistols are three days. Pulse rifles are three days. But boy, the automatic turrets are here. Ooh. And so are the flamethrowers, which we already have. And we might actually use that at some point because we finally have enough uh, fuel to not be running on fumes. Um, automated turrets are here. It's the five days that scares me. How long have we been doing sleep training? Episode after episode. So I kind of want to wipe out as many more of the smaller, you know, first aid kits and things like that just to just to get them done before it get bogged down on a great big thing. So are we there? We are on circuit one. The control circuit has been deactivated. I think that means that this guy turned him off. We'll see. Um... We're at 77%. And we're not dropping because the solar panels are adding 37. Or something like that. Okay? What well, keeps making noise over here? Ah, they're, they're chopping trees down. 30 at a time. Okay. So Simon's getting more berries for slop. And what else has been happening? Edmund did head down here. How did he do? He disassembled things, but he didn't put the new things in. And it's possible we could get some kind of a surprise attack, so i got to think about that. But let's get the cutting done and get some, some extra materials in. 
And you guys are where? You're all back over here. Okay. And cut you guys. And Carter, how you doing? Things are rotting away. You could use a meal soon. You're going to cut some logs there. Let's have you cut already in queue. Yeah, we'll leave you alone. Edmund, you left with a full stomach, so you're fine for a while. So let's just keep you out here for a bit. So after those are done, you're going to cut seven more trees. Perfect. We'll leave you there. Uh, hey, there's a balloon here. There is. And Rita brought back some 100% bush fruit because whatever she takes with her comes back at a hundred percent and somebody is doing some mixing over here so Rita you looking for a re there you are perfect insufficient storage space Rita is harvesting what I needed her to harvest and we are out of places for that is odd there's 11 free are there no Glitter caps. Why are they not in the fridges? That's odd. That's the exact place I would want them. Okay, so continue. Perfect. Now, how are you doing? You just got back. You're going to need a meal here soon. You're going to need to relax soon. Otherwise, you're in decent shape. You do have a permanent happiness boost built into you, so that's good. This is Cloth Blossom. We also need her because she's the only one qualified to do it. Um, is there anybody else that could come out and help her plant? It would be, be nice to get a lot more grain going. Paulette is our cook, and she has quite a few meals ahead of right now. Um, how are the meals looking? Nine veggie soups and 70% and a meat soup at 57%. I think we could say we're, we're good for a while, though she does do all the handling, too. There is that. Uh, you... I've set the furnaces to make more bricks. So we've got the ability to throw up a quick brick wall somewhere if we really need to. I brought it up to 300. That's probably what she's up to. When she's done handling the furnaces, 1, 2, and 3 is 1, 2, and 3. Let's have her come out and plant some more of this so plant uh grain grass okay carter has made it back he hopefully brought a whole bunch of wood with him yeah quite a bit of purple here so i guess he did and edmund you are probably still out here somewhere taking down these last trees i've given you a lot to do but you're still in good shape over here good um we could do another expedition too. It's always a chance of bringing back some good things. Uh, what is available right now? Explore. And remind me again, fly the balloon high and look around for points of interest. New expedition sites may be unlocked. So we've got plenty of expedition sites. So we've got cruise ship debris, which seems to bring back clothes every time. Which is good and bad. Whereas this guy might bring in something else, like electronics or something. And this direction, it's just the two? Cruise, spaceship, spaceship. And that was Connor Reach Crafting 8. Wow. Okay. I'm thinking we want to set Edmund to one of these. Hmm. When would that be? Are you still out there? You're cutting your last tree or two. Okay. And you're transporting, so you're on your way back. We could get you all relaxed and fooded up and send you out tired. They sleep on the way. We could do that and get that through the night. Those ex expeditions are how far away? Uh, this guy is 8 hours. This guy's 11 hours. This guy's 10 hours. So we'll send them to the three eight-hour ones and see what, what he brings back. See if it's worth going to the 11-hour 11, 11 ones. Of course, as soon as we send him away, we'll get a new uh, Simon Reach Crafting 5. We'll get a new uh, expedition mission. Um, what else is happening here? Carter is constructing floors. And actually, Carter 
why don't you construct these floors, which means go out and... I guess the wood's already here. Well, a little bit of wood's here. Okay. Uh, Edmund gave up on the transporting completely and just went for food. And <laughs> you're getting the food that's not going to do you any good. Um, any food still sitting on the ground over here? There's some in there earlier. Nope. Okay. Over here, we've got... Ah, uh, 68% life left there and no meals over here. Edmund, why don't you grab one of these instead? And forget the berries. Otherwise, Paulette is... Ah, she's coming back to make more wine. But you still grabbed wine from over here. You did. Let's just drop that. Let's try, try to get you to get the old stuff. Um... There's no way of knowing it, but you came from here. I'm almost certain you picked these up. So let's draft you. Bring you over to this fridge right here. And see if I can get you to grab some some rotten berries to turn into 100% good wine. There we go. Draft and make wine. Yeah, there we go. Now this one... Just got the wine put in, I believe. Which means it was probably good berries. Hmm. And then, Paulette, when you're done, you can haul those away. Okay. So, Kana is getting berries to eat. I wish she would get a real meal. Um. Oh, you're grabbing... Really? Okay. Eat some veggie soup, and Paulette, thanks for leaving 10 for her, but let's, let's haul these two. Alright, thank you. You put those away. Oh, like herding cats. Simon is still making a whole bunch of slop, which we are at what now? We're at 500. This is his last run. Uh, the control circuit has been deactivated. Temperature is... So I'm a little confused here. Have I done something wrong? By putting the fridges... So I guess I don't want to put the fridges on the same circuit as this one. Hmm. So you have... We're at 100% charged. Yes. So the battery is charged. The low battery sensor has turned off. Apparently everything on the circuit. Closed storage is now at 70 degrees. Okay. So, I'm guessing the generator needs to stay on circuit 1, controlled by this guy, but everything else needs to be on a circuit that can run all the time. So we'll put you on 2, put you on 2. You guys don't have a circuit, and you can be on 2. And all the lights... Yeah, they're all off. Double click. Six lights. Circuit two. So, okay. I'm, I'm learning. And I need someone to actually deal with that. So Edmund is constructing a floor. Let's get Edmund to relax once and then we'll send him out on an expedition. Uh, Simon is crafting a spear. Let's, Simon, I think you're our winner. Actually, yeah, you're our winner. Let's let Umayar finish his... Let's see. Turn off. No, you're going to stay there. And you're going to do that. And then you're going to handle ceiling lights. You're going to handle a soldering bench. And you're going to handle three more ceiling lights. I think that shifts everything back. And we should see them all start to turn on as you do it. So this guy, 70 degrees, now we're circuit two. Um, okay, don't know if that turned on or not. We're still 70. You're turning these guys on. Okay, well, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to take everything off of a control circuit. Maybe that's what I need to do. 
uh, handle fridges and handle this guy and handle three of those and handle three of those, Simon. Let's see if that does it. So I just assumed they meant circuit two, but apparently circuit two has to be controlled by something and it is not. So with that, I think lights just came on. 69, 66, we're cooling down now. Lights are turning on, okay. So no circuit at all means it's on all the time. This guy is running circuit one. Maybe that means you can have 10 of these guys and each circuit is then controlled by whatever that is, switch or low battery sensor or motion sensor or whatever. Maybe that's how it works. Okay. Anyway, lights are back on. That's why we charged up with just these two little solar panels. Because we weren't using anything. Alright, so who knows how much life we just lost on the, uh, the fridge there. Did Edmund get his charge? He did. He's got everything but rest. So let's send him out. He can rest on the, on the way. We want this guy. Eight hours away. No hot air balloon supplied with fuel. Edmund, where are you? You thought you were going to sleep. Refuel, please. And we will send you on your way. It's 2300 is sleep time. Uh, Kana is petting dog. She got a bonus. Good bonus on that one. What is that noise? Oh, Umair is still researching. She got a... Yeah, it didn't help her that much, though. She got a plus 10 and a comfy bed. Let's get her to do something else. Like, she's in... Let's have her appreciate this room in Edmund's room. But she... Oh, let's do that now. There we go. Then you can go to sleep. He won't be in that room. Right. Did I catch him? Where is Edmund? the word Edmund. There you are. You're already sleeping. Okay, let's get you going. Um, expedition and spaceship debris, eight hours, Edmund, and send. And he doesn't wake up, so draft on draft. You pop up, jump into the balloon, snuggle into the basket and go to sleep, and we just rotted away 345, 65 poo, 80 poo. <laughs> we researched sleep training. Okay, do we know anything more about that yet? We don't. Will you stop moving, mouse? There. This must be adapted. Yeah, that's all we know. So they went to bed on average 2300 to 0, 100. So, they would tend to get up around six, so five to six hours sleep, depending on when they actually got to bed. And we'll see when everyone pops up out of bed. Connor just disturbed some of them. Edmund didn't leave. Edmund, draft. Okay, you're going to sleep. Can I tell you to... Observe. I can't tell you to go on the expedition. So apparently sleep is going to happen first. Okay. Then sweet dreams. I'm glad you like your bedroom. Pretty soon two others will get that, uh, that spacious bedroom perk. And what do we do if we find an eighth person? Umayar and Kana seem to be liking each other. Edmund and Kana a little bit, and Umayar. So these three must spend a lot of time together. Simon, no. Rita, no. Paulette, uh-uh. Carter, a little bit with Paulette. Paulette has no opinion on Carter. Hmm. So right here is the first chance we have of a couple so I don't have to build an eighth bedroom. <laughs> Come on, guys. 
Okay, we're running, right? Yeah, three in the morning. Edmund is usually up by four in the morning already. Although Paulette's not normally up that early. That's kind of new for her, but I didn't actually notice if she went to bed early or not. I'm trying to make sense of sleep training. Need less sleep to fully rest. Edmund's waking up about, about the time you normally would have. Maybe an hour early. So you aren't going to get meal. Oh, you changed your mind. I gotta go get a meal. No. You're trying to get to find a way out of the house. That was interesting. Because there isn't actually a door here right now. But he didn't go get food. He always grabs two meals. He's gonna come back hungry. In fact, let's that seemed like something broke there. I'm going to, Edmund, cancel the expedition. And, yeah, you go ahead and grab some food. Paulette's going to make some more. And we will set up a new expedition as soon as he's done. And see if this time he grabs meals to take with him. Okay. Popped in the door there. And Umayar is up. He's researching. Uh, Simon is getting more spears going. We never did finish those spears. So... Now you did get one. You did. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, all about to wear out. Okay. So it's important you get two of those in stock. Um, Edmund eating, Simon eating, Paulette cooking, and Rita is waking up. And Edmund, I think that's your bar right there. Argued with Umar about combat tactics. Okay, Edmund is done. Let's try this one more time. Expedition, over here. You, Edmund, send. And what happens? Edmund, argued with. And you are going to, I assume, construct. Right there. So once you do one square will you get the order to go to the expedition is you only you queued to do one there you go and you're going to grab food this time okay now that's working nothing else going on here fuel down here is available let's get you moved to here and let's get you moved Temporarily, Carter is idle. He's probably waiting to talk to a dog. So, temporarily, we'll put you right here until we. Oh, until we move the battery. So, you. Cancel. It's going to be a battery right there. Which means I can then shift this guy around the corner and put more barrels over here. Okay. Um, Carter, you double click. You're trying to pet dog who isn't available. You are in really bad shape. Sit and relax and then appreciate a shroom. Okay. Edmund's on his way. Um, still don't officially know what sleep training is. I'm going to leave that up there for now. And, hey, hey Edmund, if I could make a request we need some electronics thank you we're just off doing our things Rita is harvesting down here which you're okay you're you are making some leathers out of that okay you're petting dog now why don't you come down here and give me a field of cloth blossoms I really need those um, I could get somebody else to try to plant more of these. Oh my R, can you do that? You actually can. Why don't you do the planting? Get you outside for a little bit. And I'll freak you out a bit, but you'll you'll be fine. Won't you? Yeah, your happiness is clear up there. You'll be good. It's only a negative fifteen. And also before these go away, why don't you Harvest the last of these and then go back to that. 
Or will you actually do that? Yep. Okay. You and I are just going to bounce back and forth. And I need to get somebody. Carter, while you're down here, can you go ahead and handle all these traps? And then can you get the... Oh, we don't have any repairs done yet either? Why is that? Manage activities. Carter's construction. Hunt is first, but construction is still second. And there's no hunting, so that is your first. Maybe it's not a construction. Maybe it is a handle. It's possible. He was coming in to handle furnaces instead of doing his construction. That's why I turned that down, but... I need to get these repairs done. What is happening over here? Somebody died in the night. A red feathered bird died in the night. Really? Observe. Umayar, I'm going to have you do this instead. See if it's possible to, to uh, figure out what those are. I don't know how long he's going to last. This carcass isn't going to be here much longer. Maybe he'll hang around. You were already halfway down here anyway. So, we'll see what you can get done. Rita is transporting. <clears throat> okay, good. Get those into a fridge. And then you will plant. Good. Alright, so he will stay a distance away. So that he doesn't scare them away. Yeah, maybe it will stay just because this is happening. I don't know. <clears throat> oh, oh, no, he's still here. So maybe that'll happen. Okay, so Carter is moving wooden fermentation barrel. Because you were just determined to do that. So Carter, you... Your relaxation is getting lower, but your, your happiness is fine. Constructing. I want to make sure this is done definitely in the queue and then I'm going to make sure that you double click okay so double click there's no repairs there so apparently they didn't set to repair all on their own this time huh that's different it's always done that automatically Paulette is transporting bricks. Good. Any chance you can bring all... F oh, the bricks go all the way down there. But I want them to go here too. 78. Why can't you put bricks here also? You have to walk all the way down there? Let's just drop them on the floor and see what happens. Kana's handling furnace. Why don't you come over here and... Wow, you have not enough resources or limit is reached on everything. Then let's have you make a CPU core. We'll, uh, we'll do something different today. Kana is... Where is Kana? You are handling the furnace. Okay, then you're going to still handle the furnace. Okay. <laughs> Then you'll get back to make to sewing. All right. So what else is going on? Planting, researching. Oh, did that work? You probably didn't finish. They probably flew away. Okay. What is the shadow? Oh, oh, right there you are. I'll set you for observe just in case you land somewhere nearby. Looks like that's not going to happen. Okay. Nope, he's out of here. Okay. So Rita needs to get these planted. She needs to get beef berries planted. And we also have a field of chew root to plant. Oh, there's so much planting. Spring's already halfway gone. I need to get somebody else trained up in planting, but who? I mean, seriously, everybody's got jobs that they're dedicated to. Edmund's kind of the floater, but he's also our expeditioner. 
Carter is constructing a fence door. Probably best to let him. It's probably more important than finishing off this section here. So you came up here to get wood. Okay. We're slowly thinning out this forest. Remember when we got here and this whole thing was just a, a dense wall of trees? Little by little, we're using them up. I wonder if that's going to turn it into a meadow. You know, get a, a herd of something that moves in. So what's going on out and about? Quite a few more olfen. Okay. So we could do a hunt soon, too. Maybe next episode we'll think about doing some more hunting, get some more red meat in. Do have a lot of olfen in the area now. We do. What is that? Logs. Okay. Um, you are ore to work on. Swinging around here. Not seeing anything really new. Haven't noticed any other dogs either. More Olfen. I'll admit I haven't been looking for them either, but when that one was you know, popped up on the screen, it was pretty obvious. Okay. Expedition complete. Spaceship debris. I scavenged as much scrap metal. Unfortunately, I couldn't find anything of more interest this time. Well, okay. Come on back. So up in here... Oh, there's something that we need to do. Maybe next episode, if I remember to. Let's get up in here and do this. We're waiting for spring anyway. Let's clean out one of these nests. And, boy, they have really stripped all the trees out of here. This looks different than the first time we were here. This used to be forested. Hmm. And then we got another one right over the top of here, right? Seems like there was another nest. I think it's right up through here. There it is. So that's our third nest on this map. Next to a great big spaceship debris. All right, let's get back. Oh. <laughs> there, put on turbos here and get back quicker. There we are. All right, Carter's eating. Okay, I guess we're all eating uh, canned uh, veggies now. Simon is crafting leathers. That's probably good. I mean, it's, we're, we're done with slop. So what's happened with the slop? Rita is not doing... Um, hello, that's odd. She's not doing uh, ranching number one anymore. And I think I'm going to leave it that way. Until the plantings get done. So Rita right now is probably recuperating by not eating a really good meal. Hmm. Carter Kana is constructing because we're out of fabrics? How are we doing on sewing? Limit reach, not enough researches, uh, resources for... Oh, I forgot to turn off all the synthetics here. But we're out of cloth. We're out of cloth blossom. Aha. Uh -huh. So... Turn that back on. We may need to go out and find some naturally growing cloth blossom. Seems like there used to be some. Is that you? Yeah, so it's not mature enough yet. Okay. So we are out of fabrics. Darn. Uh, we could do feathers. Rita discovered that. Though there weren't any feathers anywhere nearby. Huh. Okay. Surprised insufficient materials doesn't show up for cloth. But, Rita, I need you... You've got the cloth blossom done. Okay. Um, this was beef berries. Not as critical. That is heptagonia. Not as critical. So this is the next critical one. So Rita, hop in over here and plant that. You're... Now well, your relaxation's getting low, but I think you'll be fine for a while. So Connor's constructing because she's got nothing else to do there. Paulette is assembling. 
Let's have Paulette break. And let's let Kana continue the CPU. And Paulette wants to transport someone I don't know. Looks like pants. Why would somebody take off their pants? Uh, while you're here, go ahead and haul that and haul that and just get them put away. All right, so you are, you're going to do handling tasks because we are maxed out on meals, apparently. Nine, that's all we've got. We have no meat. So hunting next time and or hunting monsters up there in that bug nest. Planting, repairing the fence. So you're getting all the repair jobs done. Good. And 2,300. We should see everybody heading to bed. What was that noise? Something just went... You guys seem a little far away to be you. Huh. I don't know. There you are. That's who I heard. <laughs> Alright, so Paulette is loading up wood into the furnace. She's going to bed. Simon's going to bed. Connor's going to finish assembling before she does. Rita, let's get just a little more work out of you first. And then we'll uh, see if Edmund gets back this episode. He'll probably get back first thing next time. Took a while to get him out of there. Carter's finishing up some repairs. He wants to pet dog. Carter, can you finish off these last three repairs while you're down here? Insufficient. That's not a Carter. Okay. Carter repair. And that one counted? It did. Okay. You hang around and get that done. And I did ask them to put pickled vegetables out here, right? Some bush berries and some pickled vegetables so we can get some food down here. Some of them are just starving when they get done with a trip. But it's not going to put them here if we're also putting them there. It's really frustrating. And they, I can't have them not put them here because she'll, every time she makes one, she'll want to walk all the way down there to put it away. Ah, it will be different later. Just like what it took to get them from living here to living there. We're going to have to move this structure or some kind of a new structure up into this area so that we're near home again. That's a bit far away for, you know, for these guys. It's a long walk. Anyway, Rita, let's bring you in. And Kana must have finished. Yeah, we have a new CPU core. And Edmund's going to be back soon. Otherwise, I think we're pretty much done for the night. I think all the excitement's over. We did get power to work again. So no control circuit at all, and they're running all the time. If you put them on a circuit, there has to be some kind of a switch or some kind of an instruction to give it to them. To either turn on or not turn on. Kana's going to melt down, but she's eating. She'll survive. And I think it's time for me to get something to eat, too. So I'm going to call this one done. Thanks for watching, guys, and catch you next time. Bye-bye.